Hammer fans, fight fans, we are ready! Three five minute rounds in Bama's featherweight division. Welcome to the new age. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet ten inches tall and weighted at 145.4 pounds. A record of nine wins, one loss, and zero draws. Representing all power gym from Manchester, England, Brandon Long Name. And his opponent fighting in the right corner. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall and weighed in at 144.4 pounds. He has a record of 11 wins with 2 losses and 0 draws. Represented Arch Academy from France, Steve Polifonte! When the action begins, your referee in charge, Mr. Mark Goddard. So Nick, as they get ready, do you feel featherweight's the right weight for Brendan now? He certainly looks good so far. Brendan's such a confident striker, really, really good kicker. Watch out for his spinning back kick. A oh, beautiful three-punch combo there. Backs his man up all the way against the cage. Chooses yes. to let him back in the centre of the octagon, though. That's a testament to how confident he is with his striking. Well, southpaw stance for Polifonte. Yeah, that right-hand lead. Polifonte looks like a rangy fighter. And as you say, here's a southpaw, so Brendan doing a good job leading with the right straight. That's right, right straight, left hook, if you can get him, it takes the inside of the lead leg of Polifonte, and does so again, it's a good tactic. Nice one-two counter there by Polifonte, straight down the middle, I think he just clipped Brendan's chin, that's a little warning shot early. I'd like to see a little bit more lateral movement on Brendan's entries. He's coming in a bit straight. Well, to be honest, Nick, both both men are. They're, they're doing exactly the same. They're a mirror image at the moment. They're, they're backing away in a straight line. They're coming forward in a straight line. And, and that was at the wrong range there for that spin kick. We've seen how devastating that kick can be at the right range. It was just out of range there, but it is early. Yeah, I would have liked to see him save it for a little bit later. Like you say, Malcolm, good to save your tricks a little later in the fight when they're not expected. He decides to mix things up a little, shoots in. Looks like he's got his hands crossed behind the legs there. Polifonte reaching over. Good elbow strike by Steve there. But Brendan finishes the takedown strong and is attacking the neck now. Well, he started that takedown with a strike straight right, straight to the chest. Steve Wise there putting one hand on the ground so he's not allowed to get knee to the head. Brendan dragging the man down. And he switches it up from the wrestling to the striking. He's really relaxed in there. Yes, it's a good opening. And again, the right to the body, followed by the right leg. Nice left hand over from Polifonte. And as I said, both men can have their success because neither man is moving laterally at the moment. Yeah. You can see Brennan switching stance there. Both men in south four. Brennan changes it back again. But I like the way how straight Steve throws his left hand down the middle. Very slick. Yes, he's good with that right as well to the chest and midsection of Polifonte. Just a bit low there, and they acknowledge it, see it straight away. Yeah, that's always a danger with the inside low kicks. We've seen it once tonight already. Let's hope that's the last. Nice round kick to the midsection from Polifonte. Yeah, Brendan's lunging in a little bit too much, perhaps, on those punches combinations. Got to be careful not to overreach. Got to use that good footwork. Sidekick attempt from the southpaw stance to match the southpaw stance of his opponent. Very even at the moment, Nick. It is. Not much in it. Don't know who the judges are giving advantage to so far in round one. He checks the kick this time. He's got name. Yeah, needs to get the counter off quicker, though. Can't let that stuff go unpunished. Well, this is where you, you're right where he needs to counter. When, when Polifonte comes forward like that, he steps just nicely out of range, steps straight back in, and don't take those kicks. That's better, left of the body, right to the head. Nice combination for Lochnane. Very nice, I think both those shots landed. I think Lochnane's packing the more power out of the two. And happy to stand southpaw with his man, but takes that lead leg, Polifonte. Looks for it again, that's better, that's the counter when you make your man miss. That was a huge shot, it really rocks Steve. 
interesting to know why he decided to then go down for the legs. I'd like to see him continue with the strikes. Well, we were saying earlier that he was making him miss but not countering. That was the perfect alternative. He waited for it, made him miss, and was straight back in. And like you, I would like to have seen him continue that initiative. Yeah, that really clipped Steve right on the jaw. Good takedown by Brendan. And I think you'll find Steve Polifonte is bleeding now. Yeah, on that nose damage. One minute left of this fight. I think Brendan's winning so far. Let's see what he can do on the ground here. As I say, six weeks private tuition from Jimmy Hobson, one of the best in the world. So I expect to see some big improvements. Got the shoulder pressure going at the moment. He's got good control here as well, hasn't he, Nick, at the moment? Yeah, staying very heavy. Oh, good job by Steve to isolate Brendan's left arm there. That's always annoying. Brendan slides the knee over. Looking to advance to mount, perhaps. He's going to get off good right elbow. Oh, oh nice. gets it up twice there, Nick. Yeah, that's the one landed clean. Full mount position, very nice. Well, still working the ground and pound, securing the position. Wow, those are big elbows, Malcolm. Polifonte doesn't like them. I think the gum... I thought his gum should have came out, but Polifonte really did not like those two downward elbows. There's a 10 second cover. Has he got, Has he got enough time? He's looking for that choke, and it is tight, but I think he's going to run out of time. He's let it go. Oh, what a finish. Oh, that was a big statement at the end of the round, though. So, Nick, I felt very even till about the last minute, and then Brendan Lockname really took control. From the moment he got side control, we felt he should have stayed up right a bit longer, but in, the, in a way, he proved he did the right thing, didn't he? Here's a replay. There was the one two that landed the most cleanly. He decides to drop down, take him to a canvas, and in the end it paid dividends for him because he got the mount, landed some big shots, and almost finished with the rear naked choke. Yes, um, up until that point, I thought Polifonte looked his equal. And then with that last full minute, when he got him down, the elbows and everything else, I love the way that Lockname really capitalised on it. We've seen before people take someone down and not capitalise. He did. So round two, and as we said, a big finish from Lockname in the first. Well, how do you think he'll start this second? Obviously full of confidence. Yeah, I was just about to say, his confidence would be high the way he finished that first round, and I think he's going to genuinely believe he can finish his man. He landed that spinning back fist. Oh, and an uppercut. He's got his man hurt. He needs to still pick his shots. Oh, I'd like to see him go back and stay with the boxing. Well, wow. there was a huge uppercut in there as well, and you can see Steve is blinking now. He's He really showed how hurt he was there, and you're right. If he stays upright, you feel he could finish it here, but he obviously saw the success he had downstairs as well. That's it. I mean, what creative striking by Brendan. Fantastic stuff, as I say, every fight is bringing out new tricks. But he did fin have great success in round one on the ground, so I'm feeling that's why he's looking for the takedown now. But that said, Steve Polifonte is still blinking heavily. He's trying to clear his head still from that assault. Huge back fist, big right uppercut. Manages to get a takedown, but right up against the cage, Steve is going to work to get to his knees and pop back up. Brendan just out grappling, he really does look like the big of the two men here. And Steve looks as if that's taken a lot out of him. He looks like he's tiring by the second here from those heavy, heavy punches. Yeah, he's looking slightly lost now, doesn't quite know how to... What, what new strategy to take in this fight. Everything he's trying, Brendan seems to have an answer for. And Brendan just looking so fresh, even though he had a big weight cut, he's just ready to go. Yes, and he's strong for a featherweight here, as Steve Polifonte's running out of that right hand, clipped him and he felt it again. Yeah, still a bit wobbly on the feet, is Polifonte. You Brendan... feel there's a finish here, Nick, if he stays calm and stays upright and picks his shots. I'm sure we're going to see it. Brendan just needs to stick with the basics at the moment, keep the pressure on and just keep throwing the strikes out. He will connect. Well, he lured Polifonte on there by going southpaw himself and it almost connected his right hand. You feel the writing's on the wall for Polifonte at the moment, the way Lochnane is stalking him now. Yeah, he should keep the pressure on, though, keep the pace high. Don't let Polifonte get back in this fight. Another side kick. 
Yes, he, there was moments there, as you said, with Paulo Fonte. You could almost physically see him not knowing what to do. You, he needs to keep him that way. And he shoots him from quite a distance, but manages to get the takedown. Paulo Fonte again going to try and use the cage to get back to his feet. Brendan, the, the longer this fight goes on, you just feel it's tipping more and more in Brendan's favour. He just looks still fresh and strong. You can almost smell the finish coming. Yes, um, Steve Polifonte, he's had a hard, hard two rounds. You can't fault his tenacity and determination, he's still there. And that spinning back fist and right uh, uppercut combination could have stopped a number of men. Yeah, great heart shown by Steve. He's still in this fight, but you just don't really see where the main threats are coming from for him. Especially on the ground, he's not, he's not offered any offence off his back so far. No, you do feel he is in survival mode at the moment. Brendan now looking for Kimura. Briefly on the left arm of Polifonte, but Steve is wise to it. Going back to it, but the cage is going to be in the way there, I feel. He can use it as a distraction to free up his right leg in advanced position. Good body shot there. There's, there's the back step into side control, and I wouldn't be surprised if he's looking for mount after that. Yes, it's been a tough time for Steve Polifonte. Great control there by Brendan. Heavy on his waist. And I love the way he mixes up his wrestling and striking so effortlessly. He'll, at any moment, he just lets go, pops up, throws a few punches. And Polifonte, the best term I can think of at the moment, disorientated. Yeah, a little bit lost. Here we go, back in the open. This is where Steve has a chance. He's got to fire off his left straight and his left high kick. As it is, Brendan Lucknane comes back at him. He said he's had total control of his second round. Yeah, there we go, Steve having a better of the, the exchanges at the moment. Brendan's still packing a lot of power. Not long left, last 30 in the second round. That landed clean for Steve. Well, he's got to, he's doing the right thing here. He's gritting his teeth, he's coming forward, and he's throwing the leather because he knows what a big round this is for Brendan. And he did everything right there, Steve, and Brendan, I think, realised that the man is still dangerous upright. Yeah, that was smart by Brendan. Nice power double leg, drove his man across and that should see him out, and I think even secure him the round. Yes, I mean, um, Polifonte showed his heart, showed what determination he still got with that upright moment, but it's been a dominant round for Lucknane here in the second. Yeah, I'd like to see um, Brendan still push for the finish, though, when he comes out for the third and final round, Malcolm. So really, Nick, from about halfway through the first round, Brendan Lucknane's been in control. The only time that he was in any danger at all was when Polifonte was upright. But this is that barrage of punches. Look at that uppercut as well, then the kick. And you really felt the finish could be coming here. Absolutely beautiful spinning back fist. Nice right uppercut lands as well here. He just misses the left body shot, which is a shame. That could have been a finisher. Yes, um, I mean, all credit to Polifonte. That back fist was solid. The left was solid, the right uppercut comes in, and then a cheeky little right hook as well above the uppercut. All credit to Polifonte. When you watch these replays, the fact that he's still here says it all. Yeah, he can take it, that's for sure. And he looks over at Brendan and nods and smiles at to say, this is good. I mean, what about incredible stuff here for Bama 19. Great sportsmanship. OK, both men firing off a two-punch combo at the same time. Steve. If I was Steve, Nick, I'd like to stay upright. He's had success. That's, I think, his best chance of victory. Brendan knows that, though. That's why we're seeing him take it back down to the ground so frequently. But Brendan's certainly packing the power. Here yes, no doubt this time. Didn't even want to stand and trade, just went straight down. That's yeah. out of respect, I think, to the upright ability of Polifonte. I think so. And Steve's take down defence is fading more and more every time, so Brendan can almost take him down at will. He needs to sprawl here. Polifonte's on a single leg. Brendan doesn't want to get complacent in it and end up on his back. Here he's looking to perhaps set up a Kimura counter-attack. Spins out, body lock. And there's the strength issue for Polifonte there. We saw it clearly there with the body lock. Yeah, Brendan relentless. Got the double underhooks, hands linked. Looking to drag his man out. There's the outside trip we've seen all night. Lifts his man up, but Polifonte, good job defending. That will take it out of Brendan a little bit. 
Nice elbows as well and forearms to the midsection of yeah. Brendan. Yep, yeah, landing on the lap muscle. Still relentless with... That's what working with Dean Hammersinger does. You go for the takedown and you don't give up till you get it. Excellent job, Brendan Flanagan. Yes. Sorry, Brendan Lockney, what am I saying? Yes, Lockney in control again. And, it, and it's good tactics if you realise your man is still dangerous upright, which Polifonte proved. He, he knew where he wanted to go and he's got there. And this means that unless Polifonte can get it upright again, he's yeah. going to be in real trouble. Good job by Polifonte kicking away. Brendan creates some space, needs to just commit to standing up. Brendan straight back in, needs to get busy with the ground and pound here, really work the elbows, cause some damage. Yes, yeah, so there's a little left hand there from Brendan Lockname. But I mean, at this pace in his career, Nick, it, it's a perfect time to face someone like Steve Polifonte, experienced international opponent, and get these rounds under your belt. Yeah, this is the kind of test he needs. He's on a four-fight win streak, so he needs to just keep pushing and pushing and proving he's got what it takes to be champion. He needs to stay busy, though. I believe he's got what it takes to finish this. He just has to keep pushing. Yes, he's still got two and a half minutes, a long, long time in that cage. Let's see him pass the guard here. Half guard, we've seen it earlier when he backstepped his leg. He can do exactly the same thing now. Look, the, lo the legs are open. He just has to backstep his right leg. He's concentrating on the arm now. OK, this time he steps over to mount, which is even better. He needs to get busy with the ground and pound. Drop them elbows. And it's right in his own corner as well. That was a big white elbow. We heard that throughout the arena. And he dropped it again, Nick. Dangerous times for Steve Polifonte now. Been a very durable, tough opponent for young Brendan. And there we see Polly Fronte punching up from the bottom. I think that's a sign of desperation. We don't see that too often. And another elbow lands right elbow. Looks to back scuttle out the way, and he does. Oh. Wow, this man is so determined and durable. You've got to give him full credit for making this such an entertaining bout. Yeah, and I think he was just looking for a leg lock there, but Brendan quickly back to his feet. Starting to fatigue a little bit now, could be the big weight cut, because I know he's always in excellent shape, thinking about shooting back in and getting this back on the mat where he feels a bit more comfortable. And he has pushed the pace as well, Nick, don't forget that. And Polifonte really needs to keep this upright within the last minute. Yeah, back on the legs, linked his hands, finishes it again, this time with a slam. Nice job, into side control, knee on belly, big right elbows, good job, Brendan. Yes, Polifonte, you've got to give him full credit for making this, but Brendan has been relentless when he gets to the ground. Yeah, he's thinking about securing back control. Polifonte up with the single again, he's good at that. Brendan is just relentless with his wrestling. Lockname has really been working his wrestling, and it is showing he must have got 10 takedowns this fight already. And Polifonte looks to Mark Goddard, the ref, before he slammed again, as if he knew what was coming. But this man has really impressed me. He's come from France to fight. Yeah, he's been in it till the end, to be fair. Showing a lot of heart, a lot of resilience, but Lockman just too much. 20 seconds to go, another mount. And oh, he's got that unleashed. right elbow, Nick, was sickening. And Steve Polifonte still there. Yeah. It's been a hard fight for Holly Ponte. He would have learned a lot, but kudos to Lockdown. Look at him, he's hungry. Oh, it's a big win. And you can hear the crowd's response, they know, but Steve Polifonte, an incredible performance that really, I think, will have helped Brendan Lockdown. He's done three hard rounds. He's come out on top against a dangerous striker, and you can see what it's done to him and for him. But this is still, I think, such a huge learning curve for this young man. He'll benefit from this, won't he, Nick? Absolutely. It makes him realise just how much he wants it. All those days, weeks, months in the gym for this moment. Five fights on the chop for Brendan Lochnane. Takes his record to 10 and 1. Big things coming for him. And that slam was like... Polifonte, you could just see him going, not again, because Brendan was relentless and those elbows that Polifonte was forced to eat. So... Future at featherweight. I think something's been a statement's been made here in that respect. I think so. I I tell you what, knowing Brendan, he's actually going to go back. He'd probably be a little bit disappointed with himself that he didn't get the finish. I think a little bit more spring in his step, a little bit more hunger, 
and he will come back even better next time and he will get the finish. Yes, and all credit to Polifonte. I'm beaten in his last six, and you can see why with that sort of durability and resolute determination. We're bringing him over now. What a game, game display he put on, but it is the big win for Brendan Lucknain, which our MC buddy will announce to the joy of the crowd here at the Winter Gardens. Ladies and gentlemen, after three exciting rounds, we go to our judges' scorecards. Our judges' scores about 30-26, 30-28, 30-27. And your winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner, Brendan Lord.